Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon Convoy, episode number, I don't even know at this point, but I know that we're on the second run, which we started off with Andy's units this time around, we lost one of them, unfortunately, I still kind of, actually, no, no, I remember how I did that, I was fighting the mini-boss, and then I think I lost track of the laser beam of the mini-boss, and yada yada yada, either way, um, off camera, I went ahead and I dropped off the objective, so we've already delivered two of the crates that we need for our escape of this um, area, this world that we're at here. So we still have to do the self-stealing boats and the compression coil. The compression coil, I do believe we might be the one that we should go after because this, um, the stem boats actually require us fighting a really difficult fight. And with only two units and, you know, one of them is actually pretty injured, I don't think it's a really good idea to actually undertake that one just yet. So I'm going to hit up this objective. We also have only 11 fuel, by the way, which I'm a little bit worried about. So hopefully we can find a camp pretty soon. And let's see if there's anything happening over here. The signal appears to be coming from a privateer camp in the distance. It seems as if there's a lot of activity in the camp, but you don't think they've noticed your convoy yet. Let's go ahead and attack them straight up because we can. And again, if we get some extra cash, it'd be pretty ideal. Hopefully the fight itself isn't too difficult. Oh, of course, the moment I say that, we have two of the Mace Windu type of um, shields going on over here. Okay, so let's start off by working on maybe this bad boy over here, I'm going to say. So... Let's bring this guy's shields down. We will leech maybe this guy back over here. And let's dump this maybe... Actually... Let's hold off on this one for now. Excuse me, can we um hold off on that one, my friend? Or just hit it up front? I, I think they're moving forward, so you know what? Let's just throw it back here then. So we'll toss this back over here, we will stun this guy, and then we'll leech this bad boy over here still. And you are going to start attacking over here, and then you are going to come down over here and start doing your ramming attack. There we go, perfect. So, let's um, start ramming this guy as soon as we can. Perfect, good damage. You start working on this guy. Let's remember, we got, this guy's actually pretty hurt too, so we got to be really careful with our other Andy unit over here. And let's make sure that we're over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a fucking crit if I've ever seen one. Alrighty, so now let's actually focus on this bad boy over here. You come over here and start protecting the convoy a little bit, my friend. Uh-oh, we have a stunner. We got a stunner! Oh, I'm gonna get stunned! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! This is like some Jim Ross shit right now. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll stun this guy. Let's throw an EMP. Or not an EMP, but one of the mines up here. He's stunned. He's not going anywhere. I'm stunned right here now, too. So we have to wait out till I'm no longer stunned, which there it is. Let's come over here and start working on this guy. I like how that guy got a few fucking missiles off before he died, too. What like an ultimate asshole. It's kind of like, you're not taking me alive, coppers. Um, you move forward right now. And right, let's come over here and ram. Excuse me, sir. Ah! <laughs> you got stunned by your own friend right there, my friend. Yeah. I wish I could say that was actually planned on my part, but let's be honest here, it really wasn't. Let's go ahead and stun this guy. We will also leech him. And maybe set off one of the mines up front, too. This guy should be going down right now. Surprise to me that he's actually still fucking alive. Okay, let's actually come over here and let's just ram this guy as fast as we can. He should be going down. There it is. Completely done ski. Um, we have one of those attacks coming in right here. But we should be done. There you go. Alrighty. So ultimately, not exactly the worst fight out there. 13 fuel, which is really important because we're actually pretty low on fuel. We got 43 scrap. Let's investigate their camp. It appears that it was a refueling station, so you managed to get 10 more fuel. Excellent. So we got like, what, 23 overall right there? Not bad at all. Okay, so again, we're heading towards the... Not the stem boats, but the compression coil. So down this way. I need to find a road. Oh, there's a road right there. Perfect. Let's get out of the fucking wasteland here and get into the roads because we're wasting way too much fuel in the process here. We also have this one right here. Oh, you know what we haven't done too? We haven't done the plague. But the plague now is all the way back down that side. Should have probably done that when I actually dropped off my crates, but so be it. Let's see about getting involved with this one over here and see if there's any sort of good reward. I really would like to get another unit definitely right now. You approach the radio signal. It sounds like an emergency broadcast. You see... A few transport vehicles in the distance. Head over to them, radio them, or such a transport trap. Ignore them. Let's go ahead and head over to them. You approach them and see that none of the machines are running. A great deal of people are sitting outside their vehicles. They don't look particularly well armed. There are women and children amongst them. One man in particular waves at you to get your attention. Um, let's go ahead and hear him out. I think last time when we did this, I actually blasted people because I'm a dick. So <laughs> let's go about the um, good guy route this time. Thank God some other people. We're part of the KGL trading company, and we're on route on route to deliver some shipments. Is it route or route? You know, I hear people say route, and then a lot of people say route, so it's one of those words that is kind of like, you know, depends, I guess, uh, on your geographical location or your upbringing, you could say it differently, but that's besides the point. My head logistics officer, however, is a bloody fool and had us leave with too little fuel. Hey, me and him probably get along pretty well because that's what happens to me all the time. He wants to take 10 of my fuel. Oh, God, bro. Bro, 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 what are you doing to me right now? The camp isn't too far from here, so I could go buy some more fuel. 
Uh, let's see what's in it for me. Oh, well, we don't have much. We obviously can't give you our merchandise. I suppose we have some parts laying around. 50 fuel? You out of your fucking mind. Um, in that case, prepare to die. Last time I did this, they actually opened fire on us and actually fucked us up pretty well. So you know what? I'm afraid we can't do that. Goodbye. Um, I would have probably given him the 10 fuel, but 50, it's like, you know, out of the fucking... Out of, like, you know, the idea, look at this, we're at 21, we can't give him 50, what does this guy think he is? Fucking fuel Santa Claus of the convoy world? Uh, you pass many rocky cliffs whilst traveling through the desert. A great deal of wrecks littered the cliff sites and natural inclines, they look pretty damaged. Let's go ahead and check the wrecks. All the vehicles are too damaged to be of any use, they must have been driving at top speed before crashing into these cliffs. Damn. Alrighty. There's a camp over here which I do want to hit up definitely though, so let's do that because we have some money to spend and hopefully we can finally buy another unit. That'd be really amazing at this point. Let's actually start off by repairing though because we definitely need that. Alrighty, so now we're good. Let's go to the shop over here. Of course, no vehicle, but we do have a few things that we have to equip on our vehicles here really quickly. So let's go to my convoy number one and let's see, you have an extra one over here. This is for the shield, so let's definitely give you the shield. This is the mine layer, this is the leech drone, and then this is the EMP blaster. This is a, uh, oh wow. I could rock two leech drones, huh? You know what? Instead of the mine layer, let's do two of the leech drones and see how that works out, at least for now. We're gonna hold on to the mine layer just in case, though. How much would that sell for? 20. Okay. And then we also have the shield MK1, which, you know, isn't exactly great, but it could be useful. Maybe... Oh, no, no. We can't use it on you because you're definitely relying on the AID so you don't take any damage when you ram. You have a better shield, so you definitely don't need that. And there's absolutely nothing for buying in terms of units, so let's see about weaponry. We have the light rocket artillery, we have the heavy railgun, that could be pretty useful. Not the best damage, but ignore shields, and that could be pretty... You know what? The, the Stambolt fight is going to require piercing a lot of shields, so this might actually be pretty good. And we have the shield MK3 as well over here too. This is 120, that would be a lot of money, man, but I think, you know what, it'd be pretty useful. Uh, what do you have right now? You have... The cannon and the light MG. That's for 17, and that's for 17. Um, high damage, long reload, effective against armored targets, and basic machine gun effective against all unit types. Let's go ahead and sell that one, and I'm gonna definitely buy this. I think it might help us out in the long run here. So let's definitely buy this bad boy over here. Return, we'll equip it over on this side. Let's hope this is the right move. I feel like it might be, but let's hope that it totally is. And you know what? At this point, I feel like selling it, but I'll hold on to it. And now hold on to you. We have 53 more scrap. Let's go ahead and buy a little bit of fuel as well. Um, I think that might be... Let's do one more. We'll do up to 34. So that's basically over scrap right there. But at least we're completely healed for the most part. My convoy isn't, but he only has armor to repair at this point. Alrighty, so. Um, purging the plague, we said it's kind of too far off at this point. Let's do the compression coil then. And that's going to be down that way. So let's definitely take the road here for now. And avoid having to go through all this difficult area. Oh, this is the edge of the map. Oh, god damn it. Well, um, I guess we'll definitely have to go through this road then. Do a little bit of backtracking, which is unfortunate because we're wasting fuel. Much needed fuel, I should say. Um, we're going to definitely ready the weapons. We're not escaping because that's going to cost us five fuel. And I really can't afford to throw fuel away at this point. Let's move you back, my friend. And let's also move you back. There's a few wreckage out there, too. We have two Mace Windu dudes. And then we also have... Well, we can start using the shield. Ah, so you just activate this at any time. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's move you back. You start working on him. You EMP over here, I'm going to say. You start leeching this guy. And... You might as well start over shield now, right? Why not? We have two leech stones, I forgot, right. So let's leech this guy twice. <laughs> Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening here? Two leeches? Oh yeah, two leeches indeed. Okay, you come back over here. We have scary situation. Move out of the way, my friend. Thank you. Alrighty, so you keep working on Mace Windu over here. This guy should be wrecking into that, right? Oh yeah, totally. He even fucking destroyed himself in the process. Really good for us. Okay, you keep moving back right now. We're going to try to ramp into this guy as soon as we get the chance here. Oh, you moved out of the way. What a scumbag. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop moving? Can you, like, you know, just hold your horses here for a fucking second? Um, you keep working over here. Let's EMP this guy one more time. All right, here he comes, finally. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. He oh, he stunned me. What a piece of shit. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's get on stun now. Uh, we need to move, too. Let's get up here as soon as possible. You ram forward. And then you... Let's actually EMP this guy right here. And let's, uh... Leech drone him as well, so we get some health back as well. 
you just fire away. This side, this guy should probably end up killing himself. Oh no, he actually, oh, <laughs> he totally killed himself. Excellent. Um, you might want to please move. Okay, thank you. I was worried there for a second when I ran into that um, wreckage. We got 15 more fuel and 35 um, scrap as well. Let's take the loot and let's get on out of here. All right, overall, we didn't really take too much damage in that one, so I'm happy about that. We're up to 38 fuel again. Um, it seems like our goal is down through here. As much as I hate off-roading, I'm going to do it just so we can start cutting down through the monotony a little bit here. So we're at 40. We should be seeing it pretty soon. There it is. We're at 26 fuel. Ugh. Why are there no roads over here, man? All right, compression coil. Privateer vehicles and devices. Get ready to fight. Alrighty, so this should be the... I, I hope this should be the um, quest itself here. What do we have? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got Mace Windows, of course, and then we have non-Mace Windows. So let's go ahead and start off with hitting this guy. You come up forward a little bit. Fire away over here. And let's also start leeching this bad boy. This bad boy. And then let's also... Might as well set our shields up as well. And we already hit this guy with the shield, um, EMP, right? Okay, there you go. Perfect. So you come back down over here. Oh, of course. Five of them. Of course five of them. Let's move you back because there is a missile headed your way. This could be kind of a scary fight now. <laughs> um, come up here. Okay. And let's ram back. Really amazing damage. Let's continue the assault on this guy over here. We're still leeching that guy away right now. Let's come back over here for another ram attack. He's almost done. Almost done. One more shit. Oh, come on. Get over here, you piece of shit. He's done, Ski. Okay. Um, EMP's ready to go again. Let's actually use it on... You know what? This guy's about to go down, so let's use it on this guy. We'll divert our attack over here, and let's have you get closer to the fight now. Shield is down, which is what I was hoping to get. There goes that railgun, too. I fucking love it. Come over here. One more should just about do it. There it is. Let's get you out of the way as soon as possible, my friend, because there is a big missile headed your way, more than likely. We have three more enemies to steal deal with over here. Um, this guy's about to go down pretty soon. Let's actually start. I guess we might as well just attack him meanwhile. We have the leech stones ready to go. Let's leech this bad boy, and let's also leech this dude over here. And you need to get close to the fight, my friend. We're gonna start ramming this guy over here, I'm gonna say. EMP's ready to go again. Let's, um, bring down the shields over here. You inch your way through here, and let's just ram. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's move you a little bit as well. Again, keep ramming away. Ram away, and you shoot over here. He's moving away now. He's a little bit worried about all this ramming damage. I don't blame him. Let's come back down here. Don't run away. Look at this piece of shit just running away from me. Uh-oh. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And there you go. Let's um bring this guy's shields down if we can. Start attacking him regularly. And again, ramming dude. Let's get you closer to the fight over here. This piece of shit just running away. But that's fine. We're going to basically entrap him right here. And at this point, he's basically boned. Let's hit up our leech drones as well. And that should just about do it. Let's get me out of the way here. Come on. All right, game over for them, and we're completely healed other than our armor going down. So we have 13 more fuel for this and 39 loot, or scrap, I should say. Oh, that wasn't even the, the quest itself. All righty, that's fine. Here we go. You arrive at Shanty Sands, it looks like a small agricultural community. Head into the town. Welcome to Shanty Sands, strangers. Let's ask about Shanty Sands over here. You're standing in it. Oh, thanks a lot, you smartass. <laughs> this is like I'm talking to myself over here. Uh, Steve looks at you patiently. Let's ask about the former Torvac employee. Ah, that guy. He arrived at Chandy Sands not too long ago, claiming he wanted a quiet place to live. He spends most of his days indoors, but he keeps out of trouble, so we don't mind. Let's head over to his place. Let's knock on the door. Let's enter the house because nobody's home. Let's search the house. Uh, he looks uh, surprised by my presence. Let's chase him. He ran away. The man surely knows more of a compression coil. So we're going to chase him out of town right now, unfortunately. He's going to be down over here, which isn't too far, thankfully. 36 fuel, we're still looking pretty good. Um, we also have a pretty decent amount of scrap again, too. You arrive at the presumed location of the Torvac squad. The signs of traveling groups of vehicles is obvious, so you must be on the right track. Let's go ahead and scan the general area. The scan of the area and the spot of clusters of vehicles is not too far from here. They've either set up camp or are lurking in ambush. Let's um, sneak up under location and turn their ambush around. It turns out the Torvac vehicles are indeed camped. You manage to catch them by surprise and gain a significant advantage in the following combat. Alright, let's see how significant this actual combat really is. Because sometimes it says that, but it really doesn't really work out that way. Speaking of which, we've taken a lot of damage to my ramming, but you've got to be careful with that one. So we're looking at four enemies straight up right now. Hopefully it's only four. Let's start off by bringing shields down over here. Let's leech this bad boy. We'll leech this guy. And then we'll put our shields up as well. And then you attack over here. 
Now you're going to come back over here, my friend. I need to start ramming these individuals if we can. The sooner the better. Let's um, get you out of the way as well. Good ram. Now just keep following it up. Keep following it up. Good. Good damage. And again, you're working on this guy. At least you should be working on that guy. Another ram. Another ram. Boom. Okay. Still taking damage, but we're looking a little bit better right now. Let's see about stunning. Um, this guy has the shields that come up occasionally, right? Let's make sure they don't come back up. And then you should be finishing off with this guy pretty soon. There it is. And let's move up. Let's ram into this guy. Good damage. You're still... Ah, shields are back up again. That's unfortunate. Ram again, my friend. Thank you. Let's get you out of the way now. And ram him from the side. There it is. Uh, let's get you out of the way as soon as possible. There is a big missile headed your way. Let's see about bringing down the shields over here. This guy should be going down pretty soon. There it is. And then this guy should be coming down pretty soon. You know what? Let's actually leech him to dead so we get some of our HP back. Let's leave him alone. And let's just have... Oh, well. Our <laughs> real gun take care of him. That's fine. You find some loot in the Rex. Nine fuel, 37 scrap. Let's go ahead and um, talk to the prisoner. His name is Barry. Why did they capture you, Barry? I used to work for those Torvac bastards that quit because of their immoral practices. We need a compression coil, Barry. Yes, I worked on those things back in my Torvac days. I'm afraid the only way you'll be able to get your hands on one of them is to assault the compression coil facility. Okay, you'll have to come along too, Barry. So, uh, unfortunately, Barry is not another unit, and we kind of need to heal up our chainsaw attacker before we actually go into this fight, I would say. So let's see about finding a camp here nearby. 70 down this way, huh? I'd say we're going to have to do it. We definitely need to heal up our chainsaw unit. I think that's the chainsaw unit, right? Pretty sure it is. Uh, we've been to this camp before. That's the one that we were just at not too long ago. There is a fight here. I don't necessarily want to spend fuel, so let's go ahead and radio them. Yar! We demand 100 or we'll blast you to bits. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you what little fucking money I have left over, my friend. So we're going to definitely have to fight you. Let's be really careful with our chainsaw unit, though, because he is not looking too good right now. Shields everywhere, huh? So let's bring this guy down, number one. Set the assault over here, and let's um, leech one and leech two. And then we'll bring our shields up, and then you come and just fucking work on this guy back over here, I'm going to say. Boom. Nice damage. Uh oh Let's uh, get you out of the way right here. There's a missile headed your way. That's no good. Come back down through here. And let's just ram this guy from the side. There it is. We're leeching these guys right now. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good so far. Got to be careful with my chainsaw unit, though. He's not looking... Oof, that's a lot of damage. Let's try to bring this guy down as soon as possible, you know? Let's actually see if we can get a stun, too. His shield is down. Come on. One more should just about do it. Let's make it sure he doesn't get another attack off already. We need to actually heal up pretty bad. We have to keep this guy away from battle right now, which is unfortunate because it means I'm going to be rolling with only one real attacker. But I can't really risk it. But you know what? I'm going to have to do it. Okay. Let's make sure that we get out of the way of this attack. Can't really risk right now. Let's bring shield down over here. Um, two enemies down. Perfect. There is a gorge over here coming up, more than likely. Or maybe just a cliff. We'll so oh, no! No, no, no! Okay, I barely missed it. Thank God, that was scary. Let's avoid him attacking right now. I can't really risk it. Let's see about leeching one. We'll leech number two. Let's bring our shields back up. And let's also EMP maybe this piece of shit over here. Get him stunned if we can. Did we stun him? I don't think we did. All right, come on. Let's get me... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. You need to go away. That guy was just leeching me right now, wasn't he? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like my chances. I don't like my chances. Let's see if we can stun this guy really quickly. Oh, thank God we stunned him. Hey, excuse me. You need to come back over here and give me a hand. This guy needs to go down right now. Okay, he's down. Look, you need to just stay as far away as possible from here. Like, leave and never come back status, in a sense. It's like fucking... It's like, you know, when Simba, when the hyenas told Simba to just leave and never come back, that's what he has to do right now, because he's actually pretty bad for wear. As long as we can make it to the um, camp, we should be fine. There is an EMP ready to go. Let's stun this guy momentarily. Thank you. Again, just bring the assault over here. Let's see about leeching this guy. Leech him twice. Keep the assault on this guy. He should be going down pretty soon, thankfully. I don't think we'll lose anybody, but Jesus Christ, it was actually a pretty close one, doesn't it? Um, we have some gorge over here happening, but we should be okay. Let's bring our shields up as well. Stun this guy. Come on. Come on, come on. I would love to actually get in there and help us out with this unit, but we can't really risk it at this point. My shields are down over here. 
Come on. Come on. It's almost down. It's almost down. There goes the leeches, I think. Alrighty, that should be it. Oh, that was a very, very close one. Look at my chainsaw unit. Hooey! 12 fuel, 32 scrap. We'll take the loot. And please get me to that camp as soon as possible without any fights, please. Please let me get there. Alrighty, there we are, camp. Oh, God. Hooey! Let's, um, repair non-stop. Obviously. Get my armor back up here, too. Alrighty, we're down to 76, which is unfortunate, but so be it. Let's see, anything over here for sale that I'm interested in? Not really. Um, I'm gonna keep you around for a bit longer. I'm liking the uh, double leech attack, honestly. So I might sell this. I'll keep it in for now, but I think I might sell it down the line if we have to. We have 39 fuel, which I think is more than enough for now. So we'll hold on to the 76. Let's do some upgrades, you know? How about that? Um... It seems you're maxed out here, you maxed out handling. We don't need range on you. We could use the mine guard on you, so let's definitely grab at least one mine guard. And let's see about you. You're maxed out in terms of health. Let's bring up your armor, maybe? Yeah, sure, we'll do one more armor. Down to 26 scrap, and then over here we could do... Ah... Uh, let's do... You know, I'm gonna hold on to that 26 scrap. I know it's not really that much, but so be it. Alrighty, let's leave the camp. At least where everybody's completely healed now, we're again broke, but so be it. We have a lot of fuel, and we're heading over to the compression coils, I do believe, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to call it an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.